Welcome to the finale of the Epic Mickey Files. I say finale because at this point, it doesn't seem like Disney will make an Epic Mickey 3 or another Epic Mickey game. But if they do somehow decide to change their minds on that, then the show will go on. Maybe. We'll see if there's more new characters if they do make it. But anyways, what I decided to do to end it off with a bang, I decided to make a two-parter look into what can be considered the Mecha Frankensteins of the Disney universe. Made out of random parts and several different Disney memorabilia, these animatronics are just simply out to kill. These are the Beetleworks. Now for the first part, I'm only going to look at the ones in the concept arts, the ones that never appeared in the final game, but are still really interesting to look at. It's also important to know that early on in development, the artists were testing out how far they can go with the concept of a dark and twisted Disney game, so many of these beetleworks will be pretty freaky to look at. When they first thought up of the idea, they wanted to do something that's similar to the mutant toys made by Sid in Toy Story. But where do I begin specifically? I guess I could start off with the pictures that were released on July 31st, 2009, the time when the world first heard of Epic Mickey. Some have started thinking really big, like the infamous Narwhal that acts like the ultimate steampunk Disney battleship, complete with elements from both Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. There are even some that really show their mechanical side, like this wall climbing elephant or this mecha country bear scorpion. Later on, there were even more Beetleworks revealed where they really put emphasis on the scare factor. Although there are a few recognizable Disney elements in it, people would still ask in fear what the fridge is that thing? Like this two headed millipede or just. this! What is this? Anyways, there are some that didn't make it out of the cunning room floor simply because they seem way too complicated to both model and animate, even if they seem like a good fit for the game. There is, however, a certain type of beetleworks that seem to always pop up in concept arts and almost made it in the final game called the lifters, where their key feature is that they would crawl around with a large arm coming out of their backs. Going back in 2009, another picture that was revealed was a beach where giant lifters would come out of the ocean and grab all the classic cartoons, resembling a dwarf from Snow White with a teacup on his back. Other versions of lifters would have the body of Dumbo or this one with the head of Jiminy Cricket, the body of Mickey's trailer, and Dumbo's feet. There are even some that didn't make it in Epic Mickey 2. In the credits, there are many different beetleworks shown that were and weren't in the game, like Mr. Toad, this robot that looks like an ice cream man, and this funny looking bird. Finally, to top it all off, the most famous of the scrap beetleworks is the Hades Head Tanker. The first officially known beetleworks with the head of Hades from Hercules, the body of the front of Mickey's car in Mickey's Toontown, and the cannons from Lilo and Stitch. Only appearing in the beta of Epic Mickey, he would introduce to the public who the Beetleworks are and what they do to try to stop Mickey on his adventure. But we're not fully done here yet. Keep in mind, these are just the ones that didn't make it in the final game. Keep watching, and we'll be checking out not only who the Beetleworks are, but also the many different types that do appear in the game. <laughs> 